was interesting to generate, to create on the viewer this sort of clash moment in which like a surprise when at some point uh, from a certain distance far away they could even think that it's an actual like uh, archaeological artifact and it's not until they come really close and then they realize that they're made out of fabric. I'm really interested in, in this in this momentum in the, where the viewer somehow starts to view the world or perceive reality from another point of view. I take the inspiration from actual like real artifacts, archaeological pieces that you can find in archaeological collections or history museums. So usually that's where I get my inspiration from visiting those kind of museums or traveling. Usually when I visit these places I take my notebooks, my sketches, or I take photographs and so on. We sort of connect this period with ideas of purity, of whiteness, or something like kind of like elevated, some kind of so the whiter, the brighter a piece like the more value you have. Actually, this is like a huge slide. To the way I approach or reinterpret uh, these items, I try somehow to break away with these preconceived ideas. The fabric that I use 90% of the time is ancient fabric. does have like a presence or a soul or you can you realize there's something more beyond the materiality what you see and what I do most of the time is dyeing the piece which I use like a natural 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 elements to dye the fabric doing that I want to reinforce this idea of the, the passage of time highlighting the pattern on the walls and really make it look as archaeological, like 2,000-year-old pieces. I really see like the archaeological artifacts as silent witnesses of the past. Most of the time are broken or missing parts. And it is this sort of absence of the object itself, how we feel with meaning and with certain narratives, this absence. What I want really to, to bring on the table is that history is something which is still alive and we should constantly, constantly keep up like questioning and just not giving anything for granted, no? So you cannot split history in like closed box. Everything is like continuous evolution and influences from different periods and different regions and different gods and archetypes. This is like a period which uh, has fascinated us and will fascinate us for forever.